say where to start. Okay, now you've got the, the basic outline of the manuscript. Okay, where do you start? Do you start at the introduction? Do you start at the conclusions? Do you start the references? Where do you start? How many hands say that you start at the introduction? Show hands. None. Very good. Okay, one. Any, how many hands show that you start at the conclusions? You. Okay. Good. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. So where do we start? Not at the beginning. Okay. Why? Well, you start with the conclusions. Okay. Because you've already done this work, and you start with that to build your story. Okay, that's what you're writing about. You're writing about the story, how you got to those conclusions. Okay, you focus on what you've learned through these conclusions, and then you can work back from the known. You work back and describe how you got there, and then what references you use to get there in your introduction. Yeah? This gets you away from writer's block. Okay, so this guy is running backwards on a road that's going to the right, and he's running backwards. So that's the, the way you write a paper. You write it backwards. You look at the conclusions first and write back. Use simple sentences, not sentences that are paragraphs, not sentences that are run-on sentences, and, 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 and. Okay, use simple sentences, okay, not sentences that are paragraphs. I, I read a lot of those, believe me, and they are... They are not good because they put you to sleep. They make you not want to read the rest of the, of the paper. Keep it short and simple. The KISS principle. Who all knows about the KISS principle? Yeah. Okay. Keep the senses short, okay? On the side of being chop, short and choppy senses, okay? I'm not talking to you about high school English grammar, okay? If you're like me who came out of the Texas public school system that talked about not writing short and choppy sentences. We're write, not writing novels, folks. We're writing technical papers, okay? We're not writing bodies of literature that are going to go into English works, okay? Use common terminology and avoid commercialism, okay? So start with the conclusions when you're writing your paper, okay? Write the paper backwards. Okay. Remember your purpose. Get to the point quickly. Okay. Your reader has got a lot of things to do. He doesn't want to spend a lot of time getting to the point of the reason you're writing that paper. Okay. Get to the bottom line quick. Again, our guy running backwards. We're writing the paper backwards. Present your conclusions first. Okay. Describe how to get to the results. We're walking back up the manuscript outline. Describe the process and methodology which you got to those results. And then present the theory that explains the process. Then evaluate what you've written. Okay? Is it thorough? Okay? Doesn't mean that it needs to be exhaustive, but has the work that you've done thought about every I want to say every uh, innuendo or nuance that could, uh, or, or sensitivity, important sensitivity that you need to write about to explain what you've done. Does it include that? And have a colleague who didn't work on the project read it and g have him give you his feedback. Very important. And have someone you work with read it and give you his feedback afterwards, okay, and fill in any remaining sections except for the abstract, okay, ones I didn't talk about, some more detailed sections that you need to write about like laboratory procedures, fill those in, okay, acknowledgments, we often forget about acknowledgments, but it's a very important part of the, the paper writing process, you've got to acknowledge who gave you the permission to write that paper, who may not be an author, your company lets you go do it, your partners go let you go give that body of literature or that data out to the public, okay? But it's not always needed. You don't always have an acknowledgement section in the paper. As I mentioned, company and partners need to be acknowledged that are not authors, okay? 
say, grants, research grants, like in uh, university or government funding that may have uh, allowed you to do this work, you've got to acknowledge that. And then finally, abstract number two. Rewrite, don't use your original abstract in your manuscript, okay? Write a new abstract that reflects the paper you've just written. It may be longer than 350 words, guys, okay? 350 word abstract is what you got you into the program committee. You had to make that good, but don't make, make an abstract that's consistent with your first abstract, okay? But now you've written the paper backwards and you've got a little bit different idea what abstract you should write now that tells about the conclusions, tells about the, uh, the, what kind of information you're conveying to the audience. Make it good. Make that abstract good, okay? Remember the roll of the dice. Okay, now this manuscript is going to go into one Petro. Okay, and people are going to read that manuscript. Do you want them? Do you want more people to read, like Mr. Bob Ladogli, six thousand times, or not? Okay, that manus that abstract will catch their attention. So write it good. Edit your manuscript. It says several times. I say many times. Many times is necessary. Yes, sir. Mm, good question. Yeah, is there a limit on the second abstract? How long it should be? Yeah, like a page or two page. Ah, no, don't write two, a page. <laughs> no, no, no. I, um, what are the guidelines from SP? Actually, there isn't anything with the limit on it. We do sort of keep it shorter since it is going to be what's on the page. and It should just be what the abstract needs to talk about for the paper. Yep. No clear prescription for that, but it tells you that don't write a page abstract. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, you're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the truth about the second abstract. The, the font is smaller, Yes. so you can actually yeah. put it more than yeah. the first abstract. Yeah. But you know how the, uh, the papers, the manuscripts are written. They're, they're written um, when they're printed up, there's two sides of the page, okay, two columns. First column can be handled the abstract fine. Don't put it in the second column. No? Oh, excuse me. I, okay. Okay. There's still two columns. Okay. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions about abstract? Yeah. Okay, so we're editing. This is a film editor. He's editing his work now. Okay? Once your technical story is written, edit the document for clarity. Okay? Remember, no run on sentences or misspellings. Okay? We all have computers with spell checkers. Microsoft Word is very common that has spell checkers. Please spell check. Okay? No excuse. Leave out extraneous information. Stick to your story. Okay? We're not writing a novel. We're writing a story about the work that specific work you've done. Okay? Have others read your paper for clarity. Okay? Okay? Hang on. The points about editing several times uh, imposes on the on the writer uh, a self-imposed deadline before the submission date, so you have your peers uh, look at the paper, identify any uh, errors before you submit. If you are in a rush to meet the deadline for the manuscript, you may not have time to to edit the paper and have your colleagues uh, read it to identify these problems. So we must impose on ourselves. Uh, at least a two-week deadline to the uh, submission of manuscripts, so you have time to, to read it and, yes. and make sure everything's perfect. Thank you. That's, that's correct. You have to impose your own deadline. That's, that's correct, because not only are you reading it and editing several times, you probably have to send it out to partners to get permission to publish it. Okay, yeah, so you've got to back up from that deadline to how long you're going to think it's going to take to edit it, how long it's going to take to get management approval, how long it's going to take to get partner approval. You know, it may back it up two months. Okay? 
Good point. OK, if English is not your first language, OK, what do you do? How many people are native English speakers here? OK, maybe a third of the audience, or if that, OK? Even though English is not your first language, you write good papers. You can write really good papers. You have good, interesting information to transmit to the wider audience, OK? But if you're a little uncertain about how to write these papers, OK, you're a little nervous. I deal with this all the time in my job. People that are I'm writing reports to me, and I have to read them, OK? And I give them this, this advice, OK? Uh, read your paper. Have an English speaker. Read your paper and make suggestions, OK? Look for a fee-based service that can help you. I think SPE has got some um, uh, links to fee-based services or suggestions for fee-based services, OK? They charge you money, but they're well worth it, OK? Balance writing clearly with technical content of your paper, OK? It used to be said that the papers that were going to the SPE, don't worry about the English, just get the technical content across. I say, no, that's not so, okay? You need to balance it with you have to write it clearly. If you don't, the information that you transmit to the SPE is rubbish, okay? It is meaningless and it's, it's not gonna get read. I'm sorry. Writing clearly is the important thing, okay? Writing clearly, you have a good story to tell, and then you have to put it on paper, and write it, writing it clearly is very important, otherwise it's not gonna get read, okay? I'll just share with you some of the uh, things I've told the, uh, the technical editors in the technical editor workshop, is that if the technical editors are reading a manuscript and they can't read it and they, it's not clear, then decline it, okay? If it doesn't tell the story clearly, then you decline it, okay? So that should give you some guidance about how important writing clearly is. Do not plagiarize. We all know what plagiarism is, okay? It's defined as someone else's, using someone else's words and ideas in your paper, and presenting them as your own, okay? Not referencing them, okay? A few short quotes with citations are okay, okay? But don't use long sentences. Don't chase, take it as verbatim out of the, the, the other author's work and use it as your own. Cite your references, cite your sources, okay? But don't be tempted and say that you can't say it as well as the original author. Yes, you can. You've got a good story to tell, okay? And if you have to say what the original author said, just reference it. It's easy, okay? A few tips. I wouldn't say experts, but people that have written a lot of papers, okay? Experts is a pretty strong word. Support your arguments with references, okay? Always think of your audience. Always put your audience first. What do they want to hear? What do they want to get out of the information you put in that paper? Okay, think about them. Don't write a novel. Don't go on and on and on and on. Don't leave the best to the last. Put the best up front so they'll read the details. Okay. Read your paper aloud and to yourself and listen for smoothness. Okay. I took a technical writing class one time when I first got into industry, the company sent me to, okay, because my papers were trash, okay. My, my, <laughs> my boss would send them back with all sorts of red marks on it in those days instead of, there, there was no Microsoft Word. And he thought, well, it'd be a good idea that you go to technical writing class. So I did, and I learned quite a lot. And one of the things they told me in the technical writing class is when you write, once you get the mechanics of the writing down, you read it, does it sound smooth to you? Is it awkward or does it sound smooth? Okay, does it flow? That's why engineers, we typically like to write a lot in compact sentences, a lot of information in one sentence. That's why we get to be long sentences. So write short, choppy sentences, we err on that side. We're not writing novels, folks. We're writing technical papers, okay? We wanna get the point across clearly, quickly. Smoothness. Manuscript submission. Create your manuscripts in uh, Microsoft Word in the SPE template, okay? 
You follow the uh, author kit instructions. Figures tables can be included in the manuscript or created separately, okay, at the back. Make all revisions before uploading, okay? Get all your revisions and editing done and approvals done before you upload because once you've uploaded it, you can't get it back. Then there's an intellectual property issue, okay? Make sure you get the company clearance for information you'll present, okay? Ensure that you've not plagiarized or copied from works of others and have not cited work correctly, okay? Don't submit abstracts for the same work to more than one meeting at a time, okay? We do look for that. We do look for that. Transfer of copyright. These are all details, but important ones. Sign and submit a transfer of copyright from the, S from the SPE form, okay? SPE won't allow you to put that paper into print unless you sign that copyright form. Copyright covers the words on the page, the figures, graphics, et cetera, only, okay? Not the words that you're gonna speak out in public. Author and company retain rights are listed on the back of the transfer copyright form. Okay, that's all described in the copyright form. 